I, uh, I, I, now you went to Oxford and all that kind of stuff, or Cambridge, didn't you? All Cambridge, that kind of Oxford. Cambridge, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what Oxford. is it, Cambridge or Oxford? Uh, Cambridge. That's when you, you, you worked with the Cambridge Footlights, didn't you? Though? I did, with, yeah. with Hugh Laurie. Who's now Mr. He's house. He's Mr. He's totally American movie Mr. Star. Gorgeous American movie star. Yeah. He's absolutely extraordinary. And it's like, oh my God, Hugh, yeah. who, when I first met him, he was 19 years old. And he walked into, you know, the Cambridge Footlights. I who, don't know. I'm... Well, the Cambridge Footlights spawned like Monty Python. Oh, I know, I know who they are. Yeah, so, yes, okay, you know, yeah. I, well, anyway. I, did, I just thought you meant it was a, like a pub called no, Cambridge yeah. Footlights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a member of the lower orders. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he came in in a lot of khaki, and I said, oh, my God, this khaki. is the most khaki. Yeah, he was in, dressed in a lot of khaki. Yeah. And I thought, I said, I nudged my president, he's the most gorgeous man I've ever seen in my life. And then he had to do an audition, and he had to pretend to be the emperor of China. And he had to pretend to be the emperor of China trying to get someone to get him a drink. So he sits there, you know, and he's, he's very big, and he just does a lot of... Um, And it was just, I thought, he's a genius. I he's said, this very, guy, very he's a star, funny, he's so funny. And then now he's being serious he's and he's got, a, he's got a stick, he's got a limp. I know. He's got a disability. Yeah. Damn it. You no, know, no, 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 he's so no, he's, lucky. He's, he's only acting. He's, no, he's, he's, not, he's not actually that. been hurt. But that's the nicest thing you can be given as an actor. What, isn't a stick? Or yeah. peeling an orange. Don't you immediately get an award if you've got a disability? Yes. That's yeah, what happens, much. isn't it? As soon as you, you've much. got cancer or you've got, you know, one Steady. leg or something's wrong with you, you get yeah. an award. Um, I have nothing to say about this. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't want to. Like, we've already pissed off the Scottish people. If I piss <laughs> off the Americans, I'm done. I don't know where I am. This may be the greatest movie ever. Now, clearly you weren't in that clip, but it was like, well, fantastic. I was, actually. I was, in a way, what? in that clip, in a mysterious way. Because you know that, that there's pictures of the children all standing watching the pigs doing synchronised swimming. Very, yes? very, that is very romantic. That whole thing, that whole thing was just one line in a script where I said, the piglets perform a short but stylish synchronised swimming routine. And then it, that happens! That's they fantastic! Do it took them months to learn do you know, that dance. Do you, know what, do you know what's so amazing, though, and what, uh, what I love about it is that they are clearly pigs who've worked in the theatre. They're, they're not... Okay, you see? They're... They're not film pigs. They're not film pigs. They, because they they're were, professional. They're properly trained, you know, and mm -hmm. they were there on time, on time, and, right, you know, all those, those fantastic... But the children, you see, it's difficult to get children to laugh... You know, in a very spontaneous way, when they're yes. acting, it's difficult for actors actually. Laughing's yeah. hard um, because, generally speaking, you don't feel like laughing when you're right. filming. But the two, and nor do children. Anyway, there, there they are. And I'm thinking, what are we going to do? What can we do? Because there's nothing in the leg. Of course, the piglets were. What are you saying to me? Off. They were off <laughs> that day. They were having an off day. Oh, how am I going to get out of this one? Anyway, <laughs> what I did was forget the piglets. You ate the pigs, I, I, didn't you? <laughs> you ate the pigs. <laughs> You monster! Were they delicious? They look delicious. They were! Do you know, I will finish the story in a yeah, minute, yeah, but on. I've got a feeling that soon we're going to actually have to stop eating pigs because I think they are probably more intelligent than we are. And it's going to be proved, and we'll have to stop eating them, and I plan to eat as many of them as possible before, before that happens. That. Because I love them so oh, no, much. No, no. Well, you're, you're, the assumption you make there that I, I, I or anyone else would have a problem eating something more intelligent than myself, I... <laughs> By that. Oh, so you're so smart, aren't you? How smart do you feel now? How do you smart do you feel like in my that sandwich? Crocodile. <laughs> Uh, I like right. your crocodile. That was very funny. Oh yes, yes, a little crocodile. It's, uh, he's gone now. He's back in jail. And you've got a nice, you've got a lovely robot as well. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Peterson over there. Yeah, he's classically trained theatre. Uh, and you can tell by his, the way he stays he yeah, he so can straight. Yeah, stillness. That's the what stillness, they learn. That's the, that's Ding that. dong. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I'm finishing the story. All right, yeah, yeah. Just because, I mean, you know... You, it's, Why the hell not? Yeah. I got the, the nice mug. Thanks very much. Um, Penis substitute. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm drinking. Everyone's right, drinking like it now. Penis substitute. No, no, I'm not going to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I wasn't 
water in there anyway? It's just water, just oh, sparkly okay. water. Oh, yeah, yeah it's something. No, there's some sparkly water there. You could dive into it, actually. Yeah, I like your dress, actually. It's very sparkly. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's very, dress. very show business. Oh, and congratulations, you got your star on the Hollywood I Walk did, of Fame. I did, I did, I did. That's lovely, yeah. ambitions about did you um... no you know what actually i was a bit i was very moved about it when they rang up and said i said i couldn't really believe it because you know if you do a job and you do a film and everything and someone said oh that's very good very good and you might get that's never know, happened to me that's where you've left me already <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget the you know part. Right, right. When you do a job and you suddenly think, okay, well, fair enough, maybe. But the, the thing is that the star thing, they just suddenly decide at random to give you uh, so, this thing. And it's right. such a, an iconic thing. And, um, cause and it's I, there forever now. It, some of these stars have been there since the... But guess where it is? Where? It's right outside the pig and whistle, but not just outside <laughs> it. The pub. Yes. I mean, what could be more apposite... Exactly. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, so I'm hoping that I'll see a lot of action because literally the star is as you walk in and, and as you then totter out, yes. vomiting, <laughs> doubtless, to fight. You know, so I'm hoping that I'll see a lot of action. I've asked them there to, to, to create a new cocktail for me. Gin based, obviously. <laughs> Are you? Uh, you're, you're partially gin based yourself, aren't you? I am, aren't they? actually. Yeah. Since you asked. Yeah, no. No, you can't, but it's not, people don't wander out drunk in Hollywood. No, no it's, one drinks in Hollywood No, anymore. no, they'll be wandering out after a couple of wheatgrass, <laughs> Mai Tais, and... It's so depressing. Yeah, no, and It's so depressing, you go off those, you say, God, like a dry martini, a martini, you know, gin ones. And they just look at you as though you've asked for, you know, a shot of heroin. They call it's heroin. They it's heroin. Like, yeah. She's in here, she's, yeah. she's drinking. Emma Thompson she's drinking. drink. It's that universal picture, she's on a tour. It's a children's film. She's drinking. <laughs> She's trying to eat a live pig. She's know. trying to eat a live pig in the bar. Oh, God. I don't know how you manage it, really. Anyway. Well, I, I, I'm from, I live with an outcast well, community. Well, I know. You've and, and, uh, I do. I know. You've in L.A., we, we meet, we watch television way into the night. Mm. Yeah. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nobody Does this cares. happen a lot? Does he just sort of go off and say yeah. things that mean nothing and have sort of non sequiturs that don't really... Anyway, yeah, well, these I'll finish that story. Let me finish the story. Okay, so the kids are standing there <laughs> trying to, you know, one's got to take control, oh, poor yeah, darling. No, yeah. Never mind. Well, I do He's like fine. an English woman taking control. <laughs> Especially one who's gin-based. <laughs> Why, it's almost as if you'd taken control of me before, Emma, isn't it? <laughs> We're going back in time to a time you can't see. Oh, uh, taxi. Yeah. Uh, anyway. They won't come uh, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad neighbourhood. They won't yeah, drive here. Absolutely. Right, so just, you were me out of the car as it happens. They came. So, yeah, it's the great focus. Oh, we can't push stop. Her out. Good luck. Yeah, we can't stop. Stick to <laughs> the path. <laughs> Are you? Uh... <laughs> now, how are things over in London? Everything all right? Over oh, there? London. Yes, it's fine. Um, it, it was very hot, and all the grass is brown, which is very odd. Yes. London's just gone all sort of dried up and desiccated. Well, you want to get moisturiser. <laughs> I was not in London, I was in Scotland. Scotland, Where you it say? was, strangely, raining. Really? Oh, yes! Oh, 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 I can't so believe it! Rain for three weeks on end! Wow! <laughs> it's never happened before! It's almost as if it's been raining there since... Ooh la la! I got a match! Time oh, began! Were you not, on holiday? Not we're bitter. No, 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 not at all. You know, all. but I was a three-week holiday. I know you're about to have a three-week holiday probably somewhere where it's not going to rain. Catalina. <laughs> where? Catalina, it's a small but beautiful island off the coast of Los uh, California. Oh. It has its own casino and airport. <laughs> I'm lying good. about the airport. Okay. No, it has an airport. Okay. Yeah. It's good. a little island. It's very nice. It's kind of like um, the Isle of Wight. Oh, so they stone homosexuals there? Yes, yeah. Nice. Do they stone homosexuals in the Isle of Wight? I think they're still allowed to flog them. <laughs> that Which, of course, depends. Some of them enjoy. Yeah, some people are okay with some that. I've go. come for the flogging. I've come for the flogging, yes. <laughs> yes. Really? I mean, they do? 
Yes, and I think they're allowed to shoot Irish people or Scottish people if they arrive on the island. I mean, I think it's still in the rules, the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Oh, oh, the parchment yes. thing, yeah, yeah. How to yeah. torture people, and they say it's a little bit tricky. The Isle of Wight's a little island just off the south coast of, uh, of England. Mm, it's yes. lovely, you should go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Catalina! <laughs> Not really. Not really, no. Yeah. Where were you Don't in Scotland? Go. Which part of Scotland were you in? Um, Cal Peninsula, Argyll. In Argyll. It's mm -hmm. very nice in Argyll. Yes, it's lovely. I haven't been to Scotland in a long time. Well, no. I can't live without Scotland. I don't know how you do it. You know what? I had a lovely little job off. Uh, you know Peter Rabbit? Beatrice Potter's Peter Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Um, an odd thing to bring up, you would think, but he is 110 next year, and they asked me to write a new story Peter about Rabbit? Peter Rabbit. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm going to take him to Scotland. But he's 110. It's not that you want to take him to... Very, very old You now. take him to Florida. He'll be amongst yeah. his own kind. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Peter Rabbit yeah. goes to Florida. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got a it's ring nice. to it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like it here. Look Little at all the drugstores. Rabbity Zimmer frame. Yeah. You know. They call them walkers here, Lots but I know what golf. you mean. Yeah. Oh, walkers, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Little tennis balls, yeah. all this thing. Oh, we love that. Miniature golf. Miniature golf? Uh-huh. Crazy golf, they call Crazy it in golf, Scotland. Crazy golf, that's yeah. it. Crazy golf. Yeah, I play miniature golf with my son. Oh. He's lovely. Nine and a half. No, wait, Have you not your... ever taken him to Scotland? Yes, yes, he's been to Scotland. It's... He still talks about it. Yeah. He, yes, he, he, he says he'd like to try fish and chips again. <laughs> Do you not get them here? Oh, yes, I make them often. But <laughs> apparently uh, the ones in Scotland are better. They are better, too. Where they mm. get the fish and they mire them in bitterness for a while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cover yes. them in chocolate and Cover whiskey. Cover them in and chocolate and whiskey yeah. and then deep fry no, no. them several times no, before you lovely. eat them. Yeah. Are you going back there now then? Um, no, I'm, I'm off. I'm going to travel around the entire United States of America now, um, selling the film. Yeah, I, I hear um, it's very good. This, by the way, which I'm very fond of. Well, I wouldn't do it if I wasn't passionate. Well, the about last it. one was great. I yeah, was, no, I was I'm, actually, I thought, well, here we go. But actually, I really liked it. Yes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's well, honest. Terrible. No, that's honest. It's honest. <laughs> yeah. No, well, the thing is that. That was the great thing about that star this morning, because when my dad worked here years and years ago, when I was 14, which is like last century, literally last century, actually. You say that ironically, but yeah, of course it is actually last, last century. century. <laughs> and I was 14 years old, and he was directing um, some Alan Aitbourne plays at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, and he took us down to the Grandma's Chinese Theatre and showed us all the stars in the walkway. And so today I just thought of him and thought, I don't know what he would say. He died when he was pretty much my age. He was 52 when he oh, died. Lord. And so the thought of him, it was the fags what got him. Yeah, yeah. We, we call them cigarettes smoking, here, but we know you. Know, yeah. <laughs> relax, relax. Yeah. What did he you went, he, went to, right. he went to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> <laughs> they stoned him. Um, <laughs> So it was just tremendously no, moving. No, it's lovely. It's a lovely story, and it couldn't be more deserving. I, 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 it's lovely to see you. I wish we had more time. Well, we could. We could carry on. No, I'm I mean available. <laughs> they can go home. We'll just sit here with a camera. Yeah. On. Thank you, everybody. See you. show with Emma Thompson. Still here. <laughs> Who has actually refused to leave. Yeah. I seem to remember something like this many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I must stop doing that yeah. with my eyeballs. Stop going to flashbacks. Mm. The, uh, our next guest is the star of Reno 911, a very funny comedian, Carlos, uh, Carlos uh, Al Alazraki, everybody. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> I, um, <laughs> welcome back to the last minute and 45 seconds of the show, everybody. I, uh, <laughs> the, um, I sometimes play the mouth organ. Mm. And then I play the harmonica as well. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not very good, but I'm very enthusiastic. <laughs> yes. 
Does that put you in mind of anything? Um... Sitting round a campfire, perhaps? Yes. As a young woman, a young Scotsman comes out of the swamp wearing nothing... Wearing absolutely nothing. Wearing nothing but a cheeky grin. A lot of mosquito repellent. <laughs> and a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> yes. Midges. Strategically placed mosquitoes. <laughs> yes. Is that a midge or are you just pleased to see yeah, me? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you're roasting sausages by the fire. Something like that. Or and just sausages is going... Ah! Ah! Ow! I'm Ow! sorry, Miss Emma, I'm sorry. You're yeah. like, you take that, sausages. Yes. Or just... <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mrs. Oscar Winner. Where have you been hiding that? Unrehearsed pig noise wow. coming up. That's awesome. Yeah, it you makes know... you cough actually if you do it too many times. Don't Ooh. try it at home. I can't do that. <laughs> I like what happens to your mouth when you do that noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Classy yeah. show tonight though, I said. No, thought. it's very classy. Yeah. Don't try it during sex, that's all I say. I can't help it, it just, no, just happens. Mm. I should leave. I should leave now. Yeah, me too. I'm out yeah, of here. So long, everybody. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. It's, it's, uh, Emma yeah, Thompson yeah. is like... She's a friend of mine, you know. She's amazing, right? Yeah, she's fantastic. It's hard to be friends with her because she's got such a great rack. I mean, she's... Uh... Well, <laughs> I'll tell you... Uh... No, he's right. He's right. And I can... Thank I, you, I... Jason Schwartzman. Can I... I can... Uh... I can tell you, actually, um, I, I, and I mean this uh, wholeheartedly as I tell you the story, that um, we were shooting the movie, she plays this character who's very kind of uptight um, English woman who was wearing these very like tight, kind of uncomfortable outfits. Yeah, you're kind of turning me on a little yeah. bit. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 sorry. Stay focused at this point. I am, I'm here, yeah. So that, so she, so Emma Thompson, when she'd be off camera, and it would just be on us, BJ Novak and Bradley Whitford play by my partners, she would often like take off her uncomfortable shoes and she would put on, take off her clothes and put on a robe. And so she'd be more comfortable. Uh, and one day while we were shooting, we had to have like a very surprised reaction. And um, she was off camera doing the scene, and then she stood up and she completely, um, she flashed us uh, and, and uh, held it open for quite a while. And in fact, um, she was, yeah, she was topless un underneath. I mean, it would be funny if she just did that, it was just pajamas. No, she was, she did that and she was topless, but uh, she had actually cut out, um, she had made uh, Mickey Mouse pasties um, to, cover her, to cover her breasts. And um, it's funny, it's amazing. But I will tell you, it's true that I, every time now I see Mickey Mouse, I think of um, breasts. And every time I see breasts, I think of Mickey Mouse. Well, and, then, and it is a problem, I'm no, telling you. Well, I can see where I, that might yeah. actually, yeah. But no, she's, Emma Thompson, that's my kind of woman right there. That's mm. my kind of lady. And I love her, and she, she is amazing. And she she's smart and funny, and she's, if I could, I would somehow be married to her if there was, uh, yeah. Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Remember, right, right.